So Novak Djokovic wins his first match back on the clay in Monte Carlo and he's up against Lorenzo Musetti in the third round. But going up against another Italian, is he going to be scared? He's lost the last two. I'm not scared of any, anything in, in, in anybody. Well, if that's the case, let's get stuck into the preview. And before we get started, make sure you've hit a like on this video and subscribe to Game to Love and stick around to the end because I'll be giving my prediction on who I think will win this matchup. But let's get stuck into it. Today's action, Novak Djokovic back, Novak Djokovic winning and in emphatic fashion, it has to be said. He is the two-time champ in Monte Carlo and it was a flawless uh, first match back on the clay against Roman Sofulan, 6-1, 6-2. And um, I thought it was a brilliant performance. He didn't come onto the court nervous. He came onto the court. He stamped his authority. And the crowd found it a little bit hard to get up for this match. He made it look so easy. Sofulan had no answers for Novak Djokovic today. And Djokovic really looked like the uh, world number one he is and not like the player that we've seen in recent weeks or months that uh, looked a little bit wobbly on the court. Looked like the real Djokovic back again and it's brilliant to see. We've got a few other tweets here and uh, we've got Reggie here saying a masterclass by Djokovic from start to finish. If this is how Djokovic is going to start the clay court season, how is he going to finish it? Yes, exactly. And there's a lot of hope there for Roland Garros, which is on the horizon. And with injury concerns for Carlos Alcaraz, could this open up the door even wider for a potential Djokovic Roland Garros title again this year? And he even tweeted out himself saying, work hard, clay hard. And yeah, I thought it was a brilliant performance. Um, and obviously not the toughest opponent on the clay courts but still he made it look easy and that's all you can do and his forehand was brilliant his drop shot was working well and you can see he's really put in the time on the clay courts coming into Monte Carlo going for the treble golden masters and I, I can't wait to see how he gets on against a real test in the next round and he said himself, I felt great on the court. I'm glad because I put a lot of hard work in in the past two weeks. I knew I had to get uh, him out of his comfort zone in order to win. And I did that. Zeke is like a brother to me. We, ha we talk a lot and that's what I need. And uh, he's done very well. This is his first uh, match really without Gorlan Ivanisevic. And I think it's good for him to have a, like something new I think because he's so used to having the same people the same uh, constants it can get a little bit uh, not I wouldn't say boring but I would say like it, it can be a little bit too samey and to change it up a little bit might give him a little bit fresh impetus moving into this tournament and the clay court swing and you can see he started it with a, an emphatic victory and uh, one of the uh, journalists had the audacity to ask him after his win uh, about the potential of facing another Italian and if he would be scared. And this is what he had to say. I'm not scared of any, anything in, in, in anybody, uh, <laughs> but I really hope that I can get the, the chance to play him again. We get a, a matchup, another matchup here. He obviously is... Um, you know, one of the most talented players on clay. One beautiful... talking about Lorenzo Musetti, most definitely is beautiful one-handed backhand. Uh, he can. He's very athletic. He can do a lot of great things. Um, and he's one of the most uh, promising young players, not only for Italy but generally for the world. So, um, yeah, let's see. Let's see how it works. I mean, Artur Fis is also a tough, tough opponent to beat. So he's got to win that match, but. Um, I, I like the way yeah. I played my first match comparing to the first match last year. So I feel much different. Definitely better. Uh, more ready. So um, whoever is across the net, I'm hoping I can deliver my best game. Well, 
There you go. And what a question to put to him. And I sounded like the reporter was even scared to ask the question if Djokovic is scared because he knows he's only doing it for the clicks as well. So uh, do you think you'll be scared? Uh, of course, he's not going to be scared of anybody, especially when he's playing some great tennis as well. And he will be up against, like he said, Lorenzo Musetti. It was a fantastic match uh, against Arthur Fee. This one uh, went into sort of like the late evening session and it was a brilliant matchup between the two. You had the French home faithful cheering on Arthur Fee, but we also had a big Italian crowd there too, cheering on Lorenzo Musetti. I mean, there were, it was one of the best atmospheres I've seen at a match, uh, definitely the whole tournament, but th for some reason, I don't know, I didn't know who was going to really win, even though it seemed sort of set that um, Lorenzo Musetti, he was winning 6-3. I believe he was 5-2 up. Served for the match twice. Still has a problem with the nerves. Got broken to love, I believe, on uh, one of the service games. And the other one was pretty unconvincing too. It was just lucky that as soon as Arthur Fees came back into it, he suddenly got a little bit of the old uh, wobbles and shakes and he got broken straight back again at 5-all. And then luckily, Musetti was able to see it out. But yeah, the actual match itself was a really entertaining one. Really aggressive tennis. Brilliant one-handed backhand from Musetti. He has a few passing shots there and just the angles he creates on the clay court just to move his opponent around and the top spin he gets on it to get them out of the court brilliant to watch. I mean, Djokovic will have to be on his A game if Musetti starts this one in the same way that he did against Arthur Fee. And uh, we've got a good tweet here saying that Musetti is very dangerous. I'm sure Team Djokovic have watched today's match forehand and those one-handed backhand plus the slices, uh, which we don't like. Round three is going to be fire and probably all Italians moved into a Monte Carlo cheering wild. We need revenge. <laughs> this is it. The Djokovic fans and uh, or the Djokovic team, they are probably not going to want to lose to another Italian, especially one they lost to here last year in Lorenzo Musetti, who had some crazy points. And you can see here that the crowd go wild after a crazy point that Musetti, there was a few of them, long rallies in which he actually outlasted fees and uh, big roars from the Italian. It's great to see the new father, Lorenzo Musetti. And it will be a rematch as well from last year. Djokovic obviously did lose that one. He was a 6-4, 4-2 up uh, before slightly lowering his level and allowing Musetti to raise his. It's a good test for both. And you can see there... The pictures, will it be the same result again um, come the end of uh, Thursday's match? This is the head-to-head -head between the two of them. It is 3-1 in favour of Novak Djokovic. Where did they play? Well, last year, that was the only win for Musetti. And before that, it was three wins out of three for Djokovic. We had Roland Garros. Remember that one? Musetti, two sets to love up. And then 6-1, six, 6-love, six, 4-love, love, and then retired. I mean, that one, it took him a long time to get over that. It was a very, very horrific way to end a match. Uh, then we had Dubai, where he beat him in straight sets. And then uh, in Paris, in the quarterfinals, it was a 6-love, six, 6-3. Six, but the last time they played was last year, and Musetti has the bragging rights. But let's get on to my prediction for this one. How do I see this match playing out? Well, I'll tell you how I see it playing out. I see both players being very aggressive in this first set. And I think it, it's going to be a really tough set for both. I think it's going to go to the wire. And I think we will see a tie break in the first set. That's my personal opinion. But I think Novak Djokovic will take the tie break. The second set, I think Massetti will be a bit looser. And I think that we could see a break of serve uh, against Novak. But I think that the mental is just not there for Massetti for me. And I feel that Djokovic will still be able to claw back the second set. And he will win in straight sets. 
But that's my prediction. Let me know your prediction in that comment section below. Do you agree with me? Is Djokovic going to win this one and get his revenge? Or is Lorenzo Musetti, my dark horse for the tournament, don't forget, is he going to come through and reign supreme in Monte Carlo and make a run for that Masters title? If you haven't already, hit a like, subscribe, and join us for the match.